I'm very sure you must have asked yourself this question. Why does it feel like God is investing more in me instead of changing my situation? The answer is very simple. Only a prepared man can change things. God is not just interested in giving you the blessing. That is because He wants to make you the blessing. He is using those things you see as important in stressing to build you into a man that He wants you to be. Abraham Lincoln once said, Give me six hours to chop down a tree, and I will spend the first four sharpening the axe. If He places you in an opportunity you are not prepared for, you will mess it up and others who will benefit from it will not be able to do that. Let me tell you something very interesting. God never does things with just you only in mind. He thinks of others too. If He wasn't like that, then there would be no reason for Him to be preparing you for a blessing when He can simply just make the blessing available for you. God thinks generational. So preparing you for a blessing or an opportunity is like planting a seed in the ground. You will spring forth and you will germinate and people will come eat of your beautiful tree. This is why we have mentors. Oh, you think they are able to guide you on your path to destiny if they themselves have not once tread that path before. They point to you that which they have become. When He prepares you for the blessing, He makes you responsible for others so that you will be able to guide others from making costly mistakes that will cost them their precious future so that you would be able to guide others from taking the wrong steps and making informed decisions, so that you can show them the way even in their days of confusion and desperation, and so that you can light their path and be their trailblazer. So when God prepares you for a blessing, it is because He is thinking generationally. Another thing you need to know is that God is preparing you for the blessing because He wants others to depend on you. Just like the builder spends money on their foundation because of the structure they want to put on it, they put every detail of the house into consideration. You are like that foundation He is preparing so that others can rely on you and depend on you for answers for direction, for help, for support, for every and anything that they are lacking. Think about it this way also. God is preparing you like a good soil for a seed to be planted in. He's adding fertilizer to your life using different circumstances. Many times those circumstances may not be palatable to you and sometimes even unbearable. But that is how God molds people. That is how He prepares you, using the most unlikely places and circumstances, just to build you into a blessing, not just for yourself, but for others too. Look at Joseph. You know, God could easily bring to pass that which He has shown him in his dream. But look at the route he took him through. I'm sure if you were Joseph, you must have questioned God and say, how does being a slave and going to prison lead to greatness? Only now do you realize that God didn't hand him the blessing on a platter of gold, even though he can do that. But instead, he chose to build him so that he will later become a blessing to his brothers and preserve his generation. God is also building you too. 
He wants you to be stronger for your future and your born children. He wants to build you so that you'll be able to stand for others when they need you the most. He wants to build you so that you will preserve your future. God is preparing you for the blessing so that you can show forth His glory. If you don't believe it, ask the murder. What happens to it in the hands of the porter? And how what it is made into becomes a beauty for people to come and see? Or you ask the gold, what value comes out of it when it is passed through the furnace of fire? such that people from far and wide come to pay a huge amount of money just to have a small portion of it or ask a diamond that endures a very terrible pressure so that it can come out glorious or ask the grape how it feels when it has to endure the crushing process of becoming wine it is always not easy but in the end god has literally prepared you for his glory so that all those who see your life will see how beautiful and glorious it had turned out to be please hit the like button share and subscribe to our channel god bless you